In a previous video, I checked how long this Boog RV mini fridge would run on this Mia Day uh, <clears throat> 36 amp hour lithium, it's a LifePo 4 battery, lithium iron phosphate 4, um, and it's a 460 watt hour battery. This thing uh, is a, it, fairly cheap for what it is, but I want to compare the runtime on that to this Jackery 160. This, uh, this thing says it's a 100, was it 167 watt hour lithium ion battery? So lithium ion versus lithium iron phosphate. So I'm gonna check and see not only will it run it, which I assume it will, because this thing says it can output seven amps at 12 volts. This thing doesn't, it maybe pulls five, I think, just doing some rough math. So it should be able to run it. The question is how long will it run it for? Um, and let's get started. So, uh, Jackery included this, uh, actually they didn't include it. I had to ask them for it. It comes with this 12 volt, uh, piece, which I've never seen that connection before. I don't even know how to use it. Uh, I wanted to just buy an adapter to convert it to a normal 12 volt car plug. Um, and I couldn't find it. So I emailed Jackery and asked them for, uh, what, what that's called. And instead of answering me, they just said, well, we're just going to send you one, which is great. I got one, you know, free, but, uh, it's, if I ever have to replace it or get another one, I still don't know what it's called. So if you guys know what that cable is called, go ahead and, uh, let me know in the comments section, but there we go. So the battery is 100% full. I don't know why it says output 36 Watts. There, output zero. All right, um, this thing has already been pre-chilled. It's plugged into shore power. It's uh, 33 currently. I'm going to unplug it. I'll link in the description the video where I ran this on the um, lithium iron phosphate battery. All right, I'm gonna get this thing plugged in. Okay. It beeped 13.3 volts. I know the Jackery 12 volt plug is regulated, so that will probably um, just go until it's dead. Uh, I don't I don't suspect that's going to slowly drop down. So the auto shutoff that's built into this fridge will probably not work. Um, I've got it set to low anyway, just to compare apples to apples. Now, what I have here, if you watch my other video, you all already know this, but this is a little Node MCU. Uh, IOT device that I have that basically is just checking for uh, contact and when they contact it calls an API on my server that says on and whenever they lose contact it sends an API to call to my server that says off and then my server logs the time to a SQL database so that I get the um, exact figures for the runtime on the compressor and then also just in general how long this ran for from start to finish so I'm gonna let that run. Uh, I suspect this is gonna be running for a while. Just out of curiosity, let's see what it says it's pulling. 31 watts, not bad, 29. And I have this thing set to max. It's not even in eco mode. I'd be curious how much power this thing pulls in eco mode. But um, I was estimating, I think on the manual it said 60 watts uh, in max mode and 45 in eco. This is even less than that. So better than advertised this uh you know we could do the math real quick and find out how long this is going to run for okay we'll see now it's saying 38 watts so i guess it kind of varies um now it says 40 let's just go with 40 so to do the math i'm going to take 40 i'm sorry i'm going to take 167 divided by 40 and that gives me 4.175 that would be the hours uh because i'm doing watt hours 4.175 hours of compressor runtime if this thing averages 40 watts. So that's that's good to know. That kind of gives us um, a ballpark uh, as far as compressor runtime. The actual runtime is going to vary based on ambient temperature because if this thing's sitting in direct sunlight, the compressor is going to have to run more frequently. Um, also, this has a temperature set point. I think I have it set to 32. So if it's if it's set to zero, it's going to be running longer. Um, if you set it higher, it's going to run less. So all that needs to be taken into consideration. But here's my baseline. It is uh, 78 according to my mini split. And I've got this thing set to 32. And I had a Jackery 160 charged fully to 100%. Let's see how much runtime we get. 
The Jackery is at 3% and the fridge is reading 13.3 volts. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you know that that is a regulated 12 volt port. All right, the Jackery is dead and when it dies, it dies. It doesn't put any any power out. It says 0%. It doesn't even let you turn on that 12 volt port, which I guess is a good thing. It keeps you from damaging the batteries. So let's go in and see what the uh, numbers look like. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's our results for the Jackery 160. We had compressor runtime of 205.9 minutes and the time spanned 12.8 hours. As I said before, that's going to vary based on ambient temperature. This was in a 78 degree shop. If the ambient temperature is higher, the amount of time frame that will run will actually probably be shorter, but the compressor runtime is probably going to be pretty similar. Earlier in the video, I estimated the refrigerator was pulling 40 watts average. So to calculate runtime, I was taking 167 watt hours and I was dividing that number by 40 watts, what the fridge pulled. And that gave me 4.175 hours. Our actual was 3.43 hours. I don't know if there's inefficiencies in the regulated 12 volt power supply, but I would assume there is. Either that or um, the other thing I noticed is the fridge does pull about 2 watts on standby. So it does consume a little bit more power. But just for grins, if you take this number and um, assume an 80% efficiency, so multiply by 0.8, you end up with 3.34 hours. Which is pretty darn close in line with what we actually got. In a future video, I want to actually do a test for the Jackery 500 and see how long it will take. But using the figures from the Jackery 160, I'm going to estimate what the 500 would take. The Jackery 500 is 518 watt hours. So I'm going to divide that by 40 watts. And that gives me 12.95 hours of compressor runtime. Multiply that by 0.8 for the inefficiency in the regulated power supply and I get 10.36 hours of compressor runtime. I can also do the same calculation by taking the time frame hours and multiplying it proportionally. To do that I'm going to take the time frame hours and divide it by the watt hours on the 167 12.84 divided by 167. That gives me 0 0.0768. And then I'm going to multiply that number by 518, which gives me 39.82. So this is the standby hours for the Jackery 500. That's an estimate. I will confirm that in a future video. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe.